Welcome back, welcome back. First of all, by myself, Adam's not here with us today. He's with us one day this week because he's got so much of his own work now that it works out well for me. I'm at a garage that we did a couple of sockets, a couple of life ins, but it's really cool. So just down the road here is where we've been doing the full house rewire and the entire road has a WhatsApp group. And I've worked at probably six houses up and down this road now. And I keep having texts and phone calls from people saying, you know, how do I get work, how do I generate work? Business cards, con like hassling with business cards, throw some at them. Uh, leave a review, jump on the Facebook pages for local communities, villages, towns, that sort of stuff. Constantly repost if anyone needs electrician, anyone needs anything doing, that sort of stuff. And it will eventually come back in. And then most of my work has always been repeat work, other than YouTube now, which has gone crazy. I've just quoted up four rewires. And one rewire is the most expensive thing I've ever quoted in my entire life. And I happy to say it, it was a 36 grand um, quote that I put in a 10 bedroom house down London way. The guy watches me on here, we've been backwards and forwards. I'm way more expensive than the local Sparks because of traveling and staying over and the amount of work that's involved. And there's a lot of stuff. And if I have the permission to the guy, I'll run through Costins at some point on the video. Um, but we're not sure if we've got the job yet. So we're hanging about and see. We've got some click stuff, two double sockets. We've got a single socket and we've got a blank plate to go on here. And two spotlights, we've got the JCC fire guards. Let me get the picture out on my phone, cut the holes out. And we've got a few, we've got to change an oven in a bit, and then on top of it later on, a uh, quote for a fuse board change, but I'll run through and video the process of what we're looking for, how we're gonna price that, so that'll be an interest to someone new that's sort of coming to the trade or being self-employed and doesn't quite know the, the sequence to look at or what to look for when you're going to quote for a board change. So stay tuned. So like I've said time and time again, you do spotlights, film yourself, run around or get someone to film you with a tape measure, take pictures. All I do is go into my photos, I click on locations, and then click on the job I'm at right now, which has popped up this entire road. And there's me with my pictures and measurements. Where's the measurements? There's no measurements. Just pictures, but that's fine. Um, where stuff's going. And it's a great way you can jump backwards and forwards between jobs. So if, let's say if you go to rewire, the following year after completing it and they want some extra work done, you just click location or services, pops up for previous pictures. It's worked well for me for years. It's a good little tip. So let's try and figure out these measurements. Be fair, I don't have to figure out the measurements because you can see all the joists. And the reason that has been left because this has been fitted and they need access to pull it off. So I don't quite know what they're doing here, but there's a downlight going there and there's a downlight going there. Oh, I am shocked. It's been sellotext. Classic. I don't know if it's been sellotext. And then my pad saw is in the unit. Because yesterday I did this little shaw on this little metal bracket that I found. I thought, oh, that's interesting. You all know what I'm on about. Did that. The stick I got from everyone. Oh, it's not. I would use a fast fix. It's much, much harder. Yeah, but when I use a fast fix, you lot, not all of you lot, not all the lovely people, but not the lovely people, moan at me, say, you can't use that. There's better options, use your metal box. So you use a metal box and get crucified. Alrighty then. But that's where my jab saw is, it's in the unit. Hence why I'm using a knife. Never mind. Right, I was halfway through filming the other stuff, but the customer come chat to me and lovely guy. The garage is all done. I've done the minor works on it for the two extra spots and an extra socket. I was then going to go, oh, we'll do a sponsor bit by Tradify and show you that because I sent across the certificate and the invoice across together. But the guy never left me alone, which is sound absolutely fine. I've just jumped to this other house. I've just changed the cooker over. What time are we on? Two secs. Right, so it's half past 10. I've Changed the cooker over, sent her an invoice on Tradeify, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, iPad is just there, and she's just passed me a leaflet for her son. Um, he's just starting to present garden business, who I've known for years. He's 19, so it's a big age gap. I still think I'm 22, but I'm not. Uh, next thing is to go and check for this fuse board, and that's all I've got in for today, but I've got, I'm doing a video this afternoon, which I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you at the end of this what I'm doing, and it should be quite an interesting one for the back of the van. It's not with Adam's mom. It's to do with the racket. Um, but yeah, let's go across. Uh, if I can't get any videos, I'll take loads of pictures and we'll do a little voiceover in a little bit. Right, back at the unit. Uh, <laughs> the lady wasn't in, so I, to wait. I sat outside for 25 minutes for her because uh, I was an hour early. Uh, price, I'll run through pricing and let you know what I'm going to charge her or give her a quote for. First thing I noticed when you're doing a board swap, looking to do a board swap, 
it's completely up to you if you want to do any ICR beforehand. You've got some people, armchair sparks I've had over the years and years and years that uh, have said to me religiously, you, you need to do an ICR before a board swap. I agree to a point. It gives you a really good reference of the condition, the state of the wiring, if there's anything that shouldn't be there. But when you look at a place, you sort of know the age. This hat, this bungalow was built in the... This trade advice just popped up. And again. Um, this uh, property was built, uh, I think, in the 1980s. So the wiring's pretty solid. I've done work there before. Um, the board, she wants it swapping because it's got a single RC, RCD covering the whole board. And when something trips, she's had a call out an electrician when I was on holiday. Uh, the oven trip blew the whole thing. And he recommended a board swap. So she's got a price off him and a price off me. God knows who's going to get it. So EICR beforehand, if you want to, depending on how you price it, normally it's all part as a package. So you would go one day, do the EICR, see how things go, and then the next day do a board swap. So, so many times we've done it the same day. That's completely up to you. First thing we're looking for, we're looking for bonding. So, so have we got a 10 mil going to the gas? Have we got 10 mil going to the water? Uh, I've got a picture of both. First of all, out the front, there's the gas one. Internally now, you've got the uh, terminal going to the water. I already knew this because I've already done a minor work certificate there before for the kitchen lights. I think we switched over. Um, double check that, I've got pictures there. Uh, then here's a picture of the fuse board I've taken. Uh, we've got an isolator, which is perfect for a board swap. You can see there's loads of new earths in there. You've got an old little board next to it, which I presume was an old shower board. There's plenty of room to fit our board in there if we take both of them out. It's in an outside cab, but it's within a garage, so it is what it is. You've got people on here that would also say, you can't fit a fuse board in an outside cab. It's not your, it's not their property, it's a DNO's. This is the way the house was built. This is the way the board was originally fitted. So I'm not gonna then say to the customer, oh, by the way, it's an extra 500 pounds, so I've got to extend all your cables and do an adaptable box in there anyway to move the board somewhere else. So you're completely within your right, to my knowledge, and I've done it so many times. It's very, very common around my area to fit it in there. Uh, second picture she wants, there's a half lantern on the wall with a sensor. That's being changed out to a 10 watt um, PIR LED. And then inside as well, it was just a lug that fell off a light switch. So pricing wise, I'm standard 750 plus VAT for a 12 way uh, RCBO SPD board, whether else that's Verso or that's fuse box. Uh, the outside light will be 110 pound. This is all including materials. And the, extra, the other little lug that's fell off a light uh, switch, I will just fix for free. So that's the way it's going to go. Um, we shall see if she's happy with that, but that's the way I'm pricing it. That's the way I sort of do it for everyone nowadays. It works well for me. I don't win them all. I really don't. Um, but the majority I do win. We do a really good job. You can see on here that we've pictures and videos for years where I like doing fusible swaps. I like doing rewires. And like I said, if you need a rewire, want a board change, let us know. Hit me up in the comment section, drop a message on Tradeify, whatever, and we can see what we can do. Uh, I'm currently on 89, uh, nine, <laughs> I'm currently on 98,009. So I'm less than 2,000 off 100K. So hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't already. And the next video I'm about to do in the unit, because it's only 10 past 11, which is lovely. And here's my pad saw that I left here earlier, um, is these. So these are massive floor runners, and if you've watched Corey, ex-artisan, um, OY Electrical, oh, yeah, it is OY, I don't know how you say it, anyway. Uh, he put this on his Instagram to do some sliders to pull his pack out, out. and I wanted to do it, and the fact that he put a link on it uh, was great. So I'm gonna bring the van in, I'm gonna do a little video now, tearing out everything that I've just done over the past couple of weeks, putting these in, see how this fits, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And any more pricing videos, please let me know. I'm very tempted to put a PDF together of how I price things for a rewire. I had a guy, uh, Lukey, I think his name was Luke. Lukey, I think his name was on his WhatsApp. Uh, gave me a text the other day, just asked how to price a few bits and bobs, like small jobs. So if you want me to do that, I can do a PDF, I can share it out. But obviously this is Midlands based. It's completely different to where everyone else lives. Just spy for where them. It's completely different to where everyone else lives. So. I can do more pricing stuff. I might say I'm not the best person in the world to ask for it, but I'm looks like I'm one of the only people online that actually talks about pricing. So I'm happy. I've got nothing to hide. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. Love you, bye.